Hey everyone, good morning and welcome back to my channel. Today is Monday and I'm going to be filming a Monday work vlog, kind of like a Monday routine, getting back into the swing of things. So I really hope you enjoy. If you're new to my channel, what's up? My name is Zoe, I'm 24 years old. I work as a software consultant in Montreal, currently working from home and making tons and tons of work vlogs as well as personal finance content. So I would love for you to stick around and subscribe. And whether or not you're new, you guys know, please give this video a thumbs up because it helps the algorithm and it makes me happy. So we've never really done like a routine kind of vlog and I thought today would be the perfect time to do it because I'm actually coming back from a one week vacation. I took the last week off of work, just hung around, it was really nice and now it's time to get back into the swing of things. So coming back from vacation, I think a lot of us can experience like dread, we can experience worry, stress about like what's waiting for me, how busy am I going to be, how many emails did I miss? At least I know I'm feeling a lot of those things. So it's Monday morning and I have to dive back into work. I know I have a very, very busy week ahead. So it was important to me that I start Monday out on the right foot. So first things first, I turned off all of my work notifications for my week off. So I need to get my phone and allow notifications on things like Microsoft Teams and Outlook. So <laughs> let's enable that right now. It was important to me that, you know, while I'm on vacation, I really disconnect from work. Even if, like, I receive an email that's for, you know, a Zoom happy hour invitation, it makes me start thinking about work and it makes me, can, it can make me feel stressed, like, being fully honest. So, I just wanted to really disconnect, so I turned off all of my notifications, so now it's time to turn them back on. And just a tip, if you're doing that, make sure you have a vacation you know, reminder so that when someone does email you, they know you're not gonna see it so that it's like it bounces back and says like, hey, I'm on vacation. All right, so I just turned back on Outlook and then we just need to turn on Microsoft Teams. All right, we are all set. So now that that's done, I need to start up my computer, but first I wanted to talk about, you know, the morning before we jump back into work or just any Monday morning, I think it's nice to really set us up for peace of mind. So I did my morning routine where I drank tea in bed, I did my journaling, um, and that was really nice. That really helped me just feel calm. I try and do that every single day, but I think on Mondays it's especially important. The next thing I did was I actually went for a run. I never do that, I never run, but something inside me was like, get outside this morning because you're not getting outside for the rest of the day. I know it's gonna be a really busy day. I know it's gonna be a really busy week. I'm actually booked on 45 billable hours this week, which means I'm doing a bit of overtime. So I kinda know what's coming and I was like, get outside, get some air, get your mind right before we start this week. Now it's almost 9 a.m. so I do need to like fully be online in a few minutes but before we do that I really want to do a brain dump. Now this is something I used to do all the time was every Sunday or every Monday when I was in university or even when I was working like at physical jobs like before work was virtual um, I would do a brain dump of everything I needed to get done that week both personal and for work and then I would move it over into my agenda so because it's not quite 9 a.m. yet I am just gonna worry about personal stuff that way when the clock hits I'm gonna open my computer and we'll talk about work stuff but for now let me make a list of all of the personal things that I need to get done either today or this week just to get them off my mind So I made my list and I like to kind of not color coordinate but just make it a bit brighter with color. So I just wrote things to do that are for personal versus YouTube or personal and YouTube. Um, and then what I do when I make lists, obviously this is nothing fancy, like it's not beautiful or anything, but I make a box instead of a line. That way the box looks like a checkbox so I can just check it off very easily. So I need to like contact the skincare brand. Um, send a vlog to BetterHelp for approval, um, reply to a graphic designer, work on my coding project, edit another vlog. I really wanna do Pilates tonight. I have to answer some comments and some emails and I have to contact the bank. So those are all things I need to do hopefully today, but it's kind of a lot. So anyway, now that I have my list, I'm gonna put this aside and it's time to jump into work mode. So haven't opened my work computer in a week, haven't checked my emails in a week, so 
<laughs> let's do that now i am not gonna lie i have a little bit of anxiety surrounding this because i'm worried that i might have missed something um i'm worried that there might be like a lot of you know requests from things from me like i don't really know what's on the other side but i think something that's important is rather than like waiting to see what's on the other side because okay hey google pause when we are unsure of things and if you're someone who has anxiety like me a lot of the times we can tend to push things away push things further delay them procrastinate because we don't know what's on the other side and we're afraid and that's totally normal but it's easier to just dive in and deal with it than like skirt around it like i could maybe check my emails on my phone i could so anyway we're not going to do that we're just going to jump right in and open up my computer check my emails get everything done let's go All my emails are checked and to be honest guys I am really happy because it wasn't nearly as bad as I thought um, sometimes we can make up scenarios in our head and we invent the worst um, something I actually did dodge a bullet though um, I had a meeting scheduled for 830 today and I wasn't online until 9 but it got canceled so I'm safe but otherwise I would have completely missed that meeting so lesson learned maybe I should be turning my notifications on Sunday night um, or just checking my email Sunday night before work to make sure I don't miss something like that but um, we dodged the bullet we learned our lesson so good good job learn from my mistakes um, so I went ahead and made a to-do list for work just based off of everything from my emails um, and what I know I need to do. So now I have my two lists. I'm gonna go ahead and actually write in my agenda. I don't know about you guys, but ever since the lockdown, I like completely stopped using my agenda because I was just like, well, I'm home and I can do anything at any time. But you know, if I'm being honest, that can lead to a lot of stress because you know, even though we're from home, I do think following a schedule can relieve a lot of stress. So I just want to get back in the habit of like, you know, pretending life is normal and um, following a bit of a schedule. So taking my lists, the first thing I'm going to do is build the skeleton for my agenda. So I like to split my agenda in three. I'll draw a line. Uh, I'll draw two lines. Sorry. I'll draw three lines to make four columns. So I do morning, afternoon, evening, and then I have a to-do column. So I just do that with a highlighter, really nothing fancy. And then I go in and pencil in the timing of when I wanna do certain things so that it's like, okay, at 7 p.m. I wanna do Pilates. At 8 p.m. I'm gonna make dinner. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, Google, play. agenda has been made and you guys can see it's not too full in the bottom half first of all I realized by checking my calendar so my goal is to start at 9 a.m. every day this week but I actually have meetings starting at 8 30 so I'm gonna be starting at 8 30 every day this week so I had to like go back and edit that um, but something that new that I want to try so as you guys are watching this video you probably realize like yeah I have a YouTube channel which is my side hustle and I've been having a lot of trouble lately balancing between you know my full-time job that is quite demanding quite busy um, as well as my side hustle as well as having a social life which especially during these unprecedented times is very important so I'm trying this week to implement days that are work days and days that are social days so when it's a work day that means that I'm not facetiming anybody that night that means that I'm really just in work mode that night so tonight I know I want to have a work day and a work night so tomorrow will be a social night so I I think setting these parameters will help me better schedule time with my friends um, and then when I know that it's a social day I can really like relax and take time off and then when it's a work day 
you know, I know that I'm working so that I can have that time off tomorrow. So that's what I'm gonna be trying and hopefully, you know, using my agenda is gonna help with this. My agenda will fill up more as, you know, the day goes on and I get more meetings scheduled and I figure out better what's going on. But I feel really good that I have a skeleton to, you know, just refer back to and I've got my two lists. So obviously there's lots to do this week, lots to do today. So we may as well just get started. My phone's dinging. Okay, so I'm gonna put all of this away and I just wanna talk about two things before I jump into work mode and catch up with you guys later. So I have been, <laughs> can I speak? <laughs> So feeling good while working from home has become really important to me. I went through a pretty bad anxiety and depression month through the month of October. You know, the times are changing, like the time, the physical time is changing. It's dark out all the time now. So something that's really been helping me feel better is putting on a little bit of makeup. I wore just mascara today. Um, putting on earrings and putting on a cute top at least so I love the cozy style I love you know like the kind of preppy Gen Z style that's really my style so I did today like a collared shirt with this sweater and I'm just wearing leggings on the bottom so it's very comfy very cozy but I do feel like I look cute which makes me feel a little bit more put together makes me feel a bit more motivated to really get stuff done during the day the other thing that has been helping with my stress is background music and not actual music that you know has words and like you're really listening to but I've started listening to jazz and this happened as an actual mistake so sometimes what I do is I have a Google home and sometimes I'll tell her hey Google I can't say it too loud or she'll actually do it but sometimes I tell her hey play meditation music and one morning rather than saying meditation music I said calm music and she started playing jazz and oh my god I felt like I was in a bougie hotel lobby like in New York City it it was just the ultimate vibe and I haven't stopped listening to jazz just in the background for almost a few days now how long has it been it's been since Thursday and now it's Monday so listening to jazz has been really cool I really recommend you try it you can just put on like a random like calm jazz or fun jazz playlist um, depending on maybe the time of day and your mood and I just you know hook it up to my Spotify and I play it either from my Google or from my Bluetooth speaker and it's a really nice background vibe that doesn't contribute to your stress I find sometimes if I'm listening to you know hip-hop music or like music that I really like and that I can kind of sing along to at times if I'm doing listening to that all day it can be too overwhelming so there's a tip for you guys try out the jazz if you try it let me know you know if you like it I think you will um, so that being said I think that's everything I wanted to cover for this morning I'll check in with you guys later on in the afternoon to let you guys know how the rest of Monday is going but for now you know no point in stalling let's jump right in and get stuff done off of my work checklist I just closed up my workstation for the day. I was really efficient today and actually got my full eight hours done in like eight hours. Like I didn't really take a lot of breaks today, which can be a bad thing. I'm not promoting not taking breaks, but I don't know, it just kind of happened that I was like work, work, work. So I'm gonna tell you guys in a bit like some of the hacks that I used today to be super efficient, get stuff done, but I am so hungry, you guys. I don't know about you, but with the time change, as soon as it hits like five o'clock, I feel like it's midnight. So we're gonna go make dinner. So let's go to my kitchen and I'm so hungry. Let's go to my kitchen. I can't even talk. <laughs> but oh, that's what I wanted to say. I always, at the end of the day, close up my computer, put it to sleep, and push everything to the back of my desk just to have this feeling of really being done. For me, it's really important because I'm working from home that I disconnect from work. Even if I have to do more work that evening, I need like an hour or two of disconnect. So I close everything up so I don't hear my computer dinging, close my monitor, like close everything. It's really, really important to me. So now I can freely leave my office and let's head into the kitchen to make dinner. Kitchen's a mess, don't look. <laughs> okay, this is not sponsored, um, but I'm gonna make some good food tonight. I've been getting them every single week. I am, it's safe to say I'm addicted to them. They make my life so much better and if you wanna try them, everybody who signs up gets a code. So I have a code that gets you 
$50 off your first box. So that'll be down below, but this, I think it's Canada wide. So this makes life so easy and I have to choose between doing Thai style coconut green curry over jasmine rice or roasted delicata squash over pearl barley. Hmm. What do I want? Honestly, it's cold and rainy, so I'm in the mood for the curry. So let's make curry and then we'll chat about how I had a really productive day and managed to stay sane. But yeah, first girls gotta eat. Let's cook. yummy so it's a rice curry with sweet potatoes I love cooking I love to watch YouTube videos while I cook and just wind down it's really I find a good buffer between work and like personal life and it just sets the tone for the rest of the evening and I used to cook the same thing every day it would either be like salmon or pasta so having good food to give me diversity in my meals is really helpful and I feel like I'm being healthier because I'm not just eating so we love that. I'm currently watching Grace and Frankie. It's such a good show. I don't know why it took me so long to watch it. So that's what's on the menu. And with dinner, I always take my little CBD pill. So we're gonna wind down for the night, although there is more to do later. We'll talk about that. But for the next hour or so, I'm just gonna chill. So that's what's up. Hey guys, so I wanted to close the video with some tangible tips for being productive, beating anxiety, and just having a good day overall. Um, the first tip is when you're at work, ask when things are due. So if you know that you have tasks that need to be done, and this might be particular to consulting, but I don't think it is. When somebody asks you to do something, make sure you ask, when is this due? Um, that way you know what kind of timeline you're working on and it removes a lot of uncertainty. And for me, uncertainty is a big cause of anxiety. So checking in with people being like, okay, you know, when would you like this done by? I think I can have it done by this time or I'll follow up with you. This morning what I said was, you know, I've never done this task before. Let me get started. I'll see how long I take and then I'll check in with you with when I think it can be ready by. And he was like, cool, sounds good. So that's a tip is making sure that you establish deadlines and establish the kind of timeline that you need to be working on. Never be shy to ask, it makes you look really, really good. The next thing that really helps me be productive is the Pomodoro technique, which is using a timer to batch your work and to batch your productivity. I like this app called Forest and I will put a little screen recording up here of what it looks like. You can choose how long the timer runs for and if you go on your phone during that like timed session, your tree will die. So you're basically planting trees to make a forest and if you you know, open your phone and go on Instagram or something, your tree dies. So you don't wanna like mess up your tree and it's a bit of forced self-discipline. So I like to do some rounds of Pomodoro during the day to keep me off my phone and keep me being super productive because going on my phone is the number one productivity killer. It's like the thing that distracts me and something that, you know, sometimes we can get done in an hour can take so much longer if we're, you know, going on our phones and then I end up working late. And so today how I was able to finish everything that I needed to do in my like eight hour day was by doing the Pomodoro so that I don't take longer than necessary. Okay you guys, so my only like complaint of the day is that my checklists are still not that checked off. So I have a lot of things, just little things to do. So what I like to do when this is the case is some of these things are like send a message. Actually, a lot of these are send a message or send an email. So I'll actually do them while I'm watching TV because it helps feel like it's still part of my wind down time. Other things are, you know, submit some expenses for work. That's another thing you can do while watching TV. So I'm gonna grab my laptops and do that. 
try and get out as much of this as possible and then once I'm a bit more calm and I'm digested from dinner that's where I dive into bigger work things such as editing a video um, working on my coding boot camp so that's kind of the schedule for the rest of the night I wanted to leave you guys with that and I think I'm gonna close up the video here okay you guys so I'm gonna wrap everything up now I know that Mondays can sometimes be scary they come with a lot of anticipation sometimes a lot of pressure that it has to be a good week and getting your Monday right really does set you up for an amazing rest of the week so I hope this video was helpful whether you're returning from vacation returning from a fun weekend being productive on Mondays is awesome and I hope you liked this video also let me know if you liked this kind of shorter form vlog I don't know how long this video turned out to be but it was a little bit different than my usual vlogs so please let me know any feedback um, is welcome and with that being said I'm done talking I am gonna get these checklists done I will talk to you all in my next video love you so much bye for the